Welcome back everyone. I want to talk more about the animals that Jesus showed me in heaven. We walked through one of heaven's golden forests. It's hard for us to imagine trees with golden trunks, but I know there are, I have seen it. Jesus told me. There are many furry friends up here, I will show you two of my many favorite pets. God named them Pom Pom and Henri. They spoke in a French accent. Pom Pom has emerald green eyes, the other pink eyes. I felt their fur. It was very soft and deep. It is displaying beautiful moving and spiraling, rainbow colors. And emitting a beautiful comforting scent. So they come out to greet and talk to you, strutting along beside you. Very happy little friends they are. The little houses they live in are carved out in the golden trees, and have proper doors and windows. Up in the tree branches, I saw koalas, they are very hard to see. For their color is jade green, it camouflaged them in the foliage of the trees, they have light blue eyes. Their favorite game is, find me if you can. I also saw beautiful purple koalas. They were much easier to find. I also saw bears, some had cubs. In heaven these bears are beautiful, cuddly and friendly. I saw bears that look crossed between a panda and a bear. With very fluffy fur. Most pandas on earth have black and white fur, but instead of black, in heaven it is mostly light blue, there is a variety of colors. I saw bears with shining golden fur, they live in golden caves. Their beds are made of what looks like soft and fluffy golden straw. They often gather together to sing praises to God. Their songs echo beautifully in their caves. Then you might walk past one of the creeks that meander through the forest, and see the rainbow-colored rock fish, they live under the rocks in the sparkling creek. And they come up, and sing songs of worship. Some fish flip onto your hand, while you are standing there. There are also angel fish for they have feathered wings like angels. They fly above the water and breed air, and show off their flying skills. There are many different species, they are all playing together, they talk to you, and showing off their amazing agility, and musical skills. And every splash, every water ripple, produces a heavenly musical melody. It is one big and beautiful open aquarium up there. With amazing fish that we have never seen. Fish in heaven have no hard protective fish scales, like they have on earth. There is only the pattern of the scales visible on their soft skin. There is a variety of different patterns. I know, I have seen it. Apart from the earthly look-alike animals, there are animals we cannot possibly imagine. Jesus said, None of them have been created to be put in the imaginations of man. My father reserved himself the right to create many things that you know nothing about, and are reserved for only heaven. It's awesome. The Lord only allowed me to see small glimpses of heaven. But when we, by the grace of God, arrive there permanently, we will be astonished at all the amazing wonderful things we never could have imagined. Here are some pictures of the animals I already mentioned in my first video. 
spotted dogs. The parrot cleats. Dolphins. And sharks. And colorful horses. But I did not mention that some horses also can fly. I saw them too. I also saw rainbow feathered chicken, with bright colorful chicks and beautiful flocks of exotic birds I saw lots of pussy cats, smooth and fluffy cats sitting on mats at doors waiting for their owners, or playing with yarn. I saw purple, white and ginger colors. There are no gray or black animals there, they will be white, sapphire blue or gold. When I was talking with Jesus, they were purring around my feet, wanted to be picked up and stroked. But they never got in the way, you cannot have an accident in heaven. I want to talk a bit more about white eagles, white eagles, as I mentioned in my first video, have golden beaks and talons, and can use their primary flight feathers as fingers, and are the only birds that don't mix with other birds. Their favorite song is called, The Power of Your Love. The eagle's home is a large mountainous area, where they live with their families. Some are colored white, or bronze. I saw color combinations of white and silver. The eagles vary in size. I also saw them wearing vests with golden buttons. And they eat what we eat. Biscuits, cakes, pizza. I saw a white eagle eating a biscuit when waiting for children to arrive. I described this arrival in my first video also. By the power Jesus walks often with the children through the field of flowers where there are special heavenly ladybirds. While the ladybirds are flying and weaving through the flowers, they are sprinkling gold dust from their wings. The flowers giggle, and the children also, as the gold dust lands on their noses. This was a special time of laughter with Jesus and his children. I saw rainbow colored dogs and pink sheep. I mentioned more pink animals before. As a matter of fact you see a lot of heavenly pink up there, clouds and trees and flowers. It is God's favorite color. It is a prime color in heaven. I asked Jesus, why pink Lord? He said, that color represents the love of God.
I saw Jesus relax with the animals. He would lay down with them, and he put his head on them like a pillow, and have a conversation, and the animals would talk back. And they talked about many things. It goes without saying that not one animal in heaven is ever on a leash. That's only an earthly thing. Jesus told me. I said in my word. So if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. This also applies to my animals. And I've heard the animals even say, We are free and free indeed. They are also drawn to Jesus, just like we are. There are different animal parks. Jesus took me to one of these parks. He said, Here the lions and the lambs play and lay together. Adults and children will come here and lay and play with them. I looked around and saw lions and their cubs, and there were sheep, rams and lambs. I saw lambs bouncing through the long heavenly grass. Jesus deliberately made the grass long, because the lambs love to bounce through it. But I saw a big flattened spot in the grass. Jesus explained, A lion just laid there, together with a lamb, the grass will spring back up straight in a second. I looked again and it was already back up. On earth you go to a park and expect children on swings. But in this park you see children playing with lions and lambs. And the lions will ask, do you want to ride with me? And they race through the grass with giggling and laughing children on their backs. With the lambs in close pursuit, also with children on their backs, and they had a race together. These lambs have saddles where the children sit on, the lambs were given to the children. As I described in my sixth glimpses of heaven video, called, Christ Day. Jesus said, Come, I take you to see the elephants. I saw elephants in a wide variety of colors, they are blue, pink, yes, pink with blue eyes. I saw golden, silver, and also white elephants. I saw rainbow colored ones. I also saw baby elephants. Some people in heaven have their own companion elephants. Apart from black and grey, there are no other animal color restrictions whatsoever. I saw some beautiful, friendly, soft-skinned animals, and some have wings. These wings, when not in use, are invisibly folded against their body. I saw many children and adults having these animals as companions. People walk with them talk with them, riding them, or fly with them. Their shape can be compared to a dinosaur, but that is where the comparison ends. The earthly dinosaurs were destroyed in Noah's flood. This video is dedicated to God's animals. God hates hunting, killing and cruelty to his very own creation, his animals, for sport and financial gain. There is no place for these atrocities in heaven. One must sincerely repent of these practices. I want to mention a few more heavenly trees. This is a royal purple message tree. It is a privilege to have this small tree stand in the garden of your heavenly mansion. 
Its purple leaves are occupied by little golden butterflies. They can relay your verbal messages to other people in heaven. After delivery, they return back to their leaves. They constantly sing the most beautiful songs, then the tree and its leaves are swaying and swinging in sync with these heavenly gospel melodies. The Wine Apples Tree This tree is producing coconut size apples. Both the red and green apple varieties hang on the same tree. The apples are hollow inside, similar to coconuts, but they are filled with sparkling, non-alcoholic, heavenly apple wine. If so desired, the people in heaven pluck the apples from the trees, pull out the stem part, that pops open to make a neat hole in the top, then put a straw in it, and drink the wine inside. The red apples have the red wine, the green ones contain the white apple wine variety. After drinking the wine, the apple is not discarded, but consumed like an ordinary apple, they have no seed pips or apple core. Nothing is wasted. My friends, heaven is beautiful, but it is hard to get there. Only determination and full dedication to Jesus Christ can get you there. You must be holy, as he is holy. These days it is too easy to get stuck in the mud of this world, and its many distracting things. Therefore it is also important that you pray, and read his word, the Bible, every day. If you want to know the Lord Jesus Christ, or if you want to rededicate your life to him, pray this with me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I believe that you have shed your precious blood for me. I now repent and turn away from my sins, I want to give all my life to you Lord. All that I am all that I have, and all that I do. I confess you now to be my Lord and Saviour. Come into my heart, and make me your child. In Jesus name. Amen. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it says Christus. Yeah, in your heart, you've got it. Do you love him? You love Jesus? Always. Always. Always.
care if they remember me. Only Jesus.